Hola. All right, guys. I apologize in advance for sniffing too much. If that irks you, you probably want to click off now because my allergies are on one today. But anyway, allergies or not, I decided to do a pick a card reading. So the question today is going to be what happens if I walk away? What happens if I walk away? Because we need to know. Choices are going to be, reading number one is thumbs up. Reading number two is encore. And reading number three is it's the rock. Emoji edition. Reading number one is thumbs up. Reading number two is can I get an encore? Do you want more? Reading number three is it's the rock. Oh, no, let me stop because. Okay, YouTube, YouTube don't play. And neither do I. Let's get serious, guys. All right. <laughs> So what happens if I leave? Choices are reading number one, thumbs up. Reading number two, encore. And reading number three, it's the rock. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, guys. May not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments. If it does not resonate, you, you might want to keep on moving. Keep on walking, I ain't talking to you. Because um, I don't want to hear all the negative energy. Like, you should click off this video right now if you've already walked away. You should click off this video right now if you're not choosing to walk away. Like, don't embed the comments with your negativity because you decided to watch a video, but you had already made up your mind to something else. Like, that's insane. <clears throat> that is truly insane. Like, you're going to tell me what you're going to do. But you still here watching the video because I will respond. Why did you watch the video? Why did why are you here? Because you shouldn't be here. OK, you should be on to something else. You should be on a singles pick a card reading. It's not here. We don't need it. We don't need it and we don't want it. And I don't need it and I don't want it. And, and that's that. All right. So click off now while you still have time. If you are coming here to. Embed your negativity into everybody else's good life. You got your nerve. All right. So let's move on, guys. To all of my people, all of my tribes members. I'm looking to, I think I'm going to go live tomorrow on New Year's Eve. Um, I want to go live today, but I got a ton to do. I have so much to do. I'm creating a lot of little herbal. See, this is an herbal mixture with rice. So I'm creating a lot of things for my altar and so on and so forth. So I'm just completely busy. But and I have so many tarot card readings to do in the next two days, which I'm excited about because I get to talk to a lot of you guys. And if you are looking for a personal reading, all of my information is in the description box below. Um, I also have a few of you all who are interested in um, doing some life coach packages packages with me why can't I speak and uh, my information for that is below as well I am a certified life coach I am not just calling myself a life coach like most life coaches and spiritual coaches do I actually went to school for it and I have um, a certificate for uh, the course that I took um, and, um, I'm, I'm the real deal Holyfield when it comes to that, because I don't like playing with people's lives. You can't just name yourself something without knowing what to do with that title. And a lot of people are screwing up a lot of people's lives because they just adopted the name without the studying behind it, without the work that needed to go behind it. But let me get off of my soapbox because we already four minutes in and I ain't even started. So guys, let's take our deep breath. One, two, three. I needed that. And pick your card. Will it be thumbs up? Will it be encore? Or will it be it's the rock? Question is, what happens if I leave? If I walk away? If I tell them that I'm sick of their shit and I get the fuck on? What happens? What happens, Sony? Can you tell me what happens? Let's go ahead and start up the reading with thumbs up here. in universe, the people who chose reading number one. 
What happens if they walk away, universe? What happens if they walk away? People chose reading number one. What happens if they walk away? What happens if they walk away from their crush, their love, or their twin flame, their soulmate? What happens? First one that fell out is the Hierophant. That's pretty interesting. Universe, people chose reading number one. What happens if they walk away from their lover? Second card is Strength card. Got the Hierophant and the Strength card. And last card is the Six of Pentacles. Huh. All right. So, bottom of the deck here, we have the Eight of Cups. So, what I'm seeing here for the people who chose reading number one is <laughs> the paradox of life. If you walk away from this situation, it will... It has the possibility, let me tell you, because there is free will. If you walk away from this situation, it has the possibility to recalibrate this relationship. It has the possibility to rebalance this relationship. The energetic field, if you have the courage to pull off this Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is usually a temporary separation anyway. It's, it's, it's like a discovery, like you go away to... Um, kind of find yourself or to analyze something or to process something. It's not, it's not um, ending it for good, right? But I feel like if you walk away, all you'll do is <clears throat> recalibrate this relationship. It's almost like you'll bring, you'll bring balance back into the force. Let's clarify a few of these cards just to make sure. Why is the Hierophant here? They walk away. Why is the Hierophant here? Yeah, it's just like I said. A new offer will be made. A new offer will be made to re to rebalance, to readjust. It's almost like um like people don't know what they have until it's gone. It's one of those. It's like that will kind of and I'm not saying it's going to happen immediately because I don't see any cards here with speed. <clears throat> but I do see that um, if you walk away, if you choose to walk away from this situation, if you choose to walk away from this relationship, if you, if you choose to walk away from this um, situationship, it, it has the energy to like rebalance the energetic field to rebalance this union to, I mean, th that's pretty good that I guess that's why he's sitting here blushing with a thumbs up is because you really, if you walk away, if you choose, if you decide to choose yourself, if you just look at this eight of cups again, if you decide to go with yourself, if you have the courage to love yourself first, if you have the courage to say, I'm worthy of more than this, right? If you understand your worth in this situation, in this relationship, in this twin flame union, and whatever it is, you bring balance back into the force. No matter how many cards I, I pull here, like it's saying the same thing. You will reestablish balance. And so I feel like when you come back, there will be, I feel like it'll be slow moving, right? To rebalance things, to recalibrate things. Again, I don't see any cards here suggesting that this will be a swift um, shift in energy. Um, because you have a lot of pentacles here. You have a lot of pentacles here. You have three pentacles here. Um, and, and no cards really that are showing that the recalibration will be swift. But what this is showing is that um, I feel like it may start off as like... Um, a friendship like someone may call someone and say hey what's up how you doing you know I was just thinking about you or text you and you know the universe will slowly begin to shift this and then it will avalanche it'll snowball in well it'll snowball into an avalanche effect and then healing will be reinstated look at that and everybody will be happy again so yeah if you chose reading number one I feel like it may not be a good idea or it may not. It may be a good idea for you to take a break. It may be a good idea for you to choose yourself. It may be a good idea for you to say, I'm sick of this shit. And, and I need to put myself first because this is draining me where I am right now. You know, not, not 
receiving reciprocity can be very draining, especially if you're in your mind and your mind starts playing tricks on you. I don't see a lot of sword cards here, um, only two, but I, I feel like your mind is playing tricks on you right now. And it may be a good idea for you to remove yourself from that space to go off on your own journey, right? To set off on your own journey and to come back with um, more innocence, more forgiveness, um, not so much like as an adult where you're holding on to everything that happened in the past, but more so like a child where you are um, willing to take risk and willing to start over, willing to put in the work, willing to put in the work, whether it starts as a friendship or you guys rush right back into um, some type of situation or relationship, but willing to have the courage to choose yourself, to have the courage to choose yourself, to heal yourself, um, and to and and to know your worth. That's really what this is all about. To know your worth and to understand that you're not here to be abused by anybody, um, and you're worthy of someone um, reciprocating the love that you are giving to them. This is about the give and take of it all. So I feel like you walking away will rebalance things. I kind of really like that. I, I wasn't expecting that right off the bat, but we gonna take it. We gonna take it. And we gonna move on. Can I get an encore? Do you want more? Uh, 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 with a Brooklyn boy. One last, I need y'all to roar. <gasps> now what the hell are you waiting for? All right, <laughs> universe. What happens if they walk away? What happens if the people who chose reading number two encore walk away? What happens if the people who chose reading number two walk away? First car out. You have the Seven of Swords here. What happens if the people who chose reading number two walk away? What happens if the people who chose Encore walk away? What happens? You have the Four of Pentacles here. What happens if the people who chose reading number two walk away? What happens? Whoa. And you have the Seven of Cups. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Page of Wands. So this is quite interesting. Um, I feel like if you walk away from this situation, um, it will stop. Situation will just stop. There will be absolutely no movement. Um, <clears throat> it'll be like, I feel like feelings will be hurt. Um, someone will be very much in their mind because they don't have you there anymore. You you no longer maintain that energetic vibration any longer. Um, and this person will kind of go into a stance where there's just stagnation, where they're just like contemplating everything, where they're just thinking about everything, where they're just assessing everything, where I feel like they'll really be in their mind. They'll really be in their mind um, because I feel like you will take something that was very precious to them. Maybe that they didn't communicate to you, but see how he's taking, they're taking these, but leaving behind these two. So it's like you leave behind what no longer serves you and you take off. Um, and I feel like they're not going to like that, but I feel like the universe it's funny how I can always incorporate these into this, these readings. I feel like the universe supports that, though. I feel like the universe supports you walking away from this. Um, and I feel like once, yeah, they're going to be very defensive, very guarded, very detached, very nonchalant. And I feel as though you should be defensive and just go into your quietude. Go into your quietude. Take your high priestess stance. Um, and have the courage, this came out in reading number one as well, have the courage to stand up for yourself, to defend yourself. While they're being defensive, you have um, the power to defend yourself and your decision. Um, but I feel like they're, they're really not going to like this, like not even a little bit. Um, the fact that you're moving away from them. And I feel like it will cause a lot of discord. I feel like there are a lot of people involved in this situation, whether or not you guys pull people in by talking about your situation or your situationship or your relationship or whatever this is. Um, I feel like there are family members who will be upset at them for not treating you better and who will vocalize this 
to them. Like, you stupid MF. Why did you do that? Yeah. And then they're going to, I feel like they're going to play the victim mode. And it's going to be like, they're going to feel alone, but they're not going, they're, they're not going to want to let you in on that. And you need to move off on your own and work on yourself and work on filling your cup back up. And while you're working on yourself and having the courage to tame your own inner beast here, they're going to be in a state of confusion. They're going to be in a state of like, what happened? Like really playing the victim mode, really feeling alone. Um, yeah, I, <clears throat> I don't feel like initially, I don't feel like they will take any, they will take any steps towards you. Um, they will, they will just be detached and just kind of let it be. And, um, I, I don't even think that they'll sit with the situation and think about what they did wrong. I think they will play the victim role. I, I think they're going to hold on to the victim role till the very end. And um, I feel like there's going to be some type of chance meeting or chance situation that happens, that occurs, um, that really causes them to let go because you have the the four of pentacles here so i feel like you both to a certain extent will be playing a game with this high priestess here and having two four of pentacle cards here i feel like you both will be playing a game and really holding on to the fact that um like guarding the fact guarding yourselves right first but really playing it up to like um i ain't missing you at all that just came out of nowhere since you've been gone away, I ain't missing you. I ain't missing you. I ain't missing you. I ain't missing you. That's why he's like, Encore. Because <laughs> y'all putting on a musical. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like you guys are both going to be in that I ain't missing you at all phase. Just fronting. Y'all know y'all be fronting. I was just fronting. Because in truth, you do miss each other. And a decision is going to have to be made. But there are a lot of guards here that need to be removed before that decision can be made to reach out again. Before someone surrenders and reaches out. Because there is going to be communication. Somebody's going to be reborn. But somebody's going to have to move past their ego. Somebody's going to have to have the courage to move past their ego. And until you guys do that, I feel like there's going to be a very, this is, if you guys reconcile, because this is going to take a very long time. There are, again, just like reading number one, there are a lot of pentacles here. So this is slow moving energy. But until you guys get out of this, I ain't missing you at all phase, when in truth, you love each other, you, you playing, you like, oh, what's love got to do, got to do with it, uh, uh, uh. What's love? Everything. Why you playing? Everything. With your Tina, Tina Turner, eat the damn cake and a made face ass. Everything. You playing like you don't love each other, but you do. You do. Just eat the damn cake, anime. Eat the goddamn cake, anime. That's all you need to do. Like, and I feel like this is not something new. Look at what just fell out. The Ace of Swords. You guys aren't communicating your true feelings. I feel like there's been a lot of withhold in this love. A lot of games being played in this love. A lot of, no, they need to do this before I'll do that kind of thing. Tit for tat shit that is like played out. Like that was played out in 1902. Like who, love has no withhold, you know? I'm not a Bible thumper, but I do love 1 Corinthians 1 through 13. And maybe you should read over that right now. I don't even know why the hell I just quoted a Bible, Bible verse because that's not my thing. But I feel like you should read over that. Because to me, that's the true definition of love. And there have been a lot of games here. And that's really what's been the demise of this entire situation. Nobody wants to take the first step. You guys are double dutching. You don't want to jump into the rope. You don't want to get down with the get down. And that's unfortunate because there's a lot of love here. But instead, if you look at all these cards surrounding this, this is all games except this one. All of this is games, games, defenses, games, games, games. It's stupid. I'm not calling you stupid, but it's it's very immature. And I've just never been one in life to risk love. 
I don't, I've never cared about how stupid I may appear to somebody. I've never cared about how somebody was going to react to my truth. Period. Period. So it's just like, I've always been like that. Like I've had past lovers tell me like you, you can't just wear your heart on your sleeve. I don't know how not to, you know? And if you guys would, if you guys would rather be like this and just be by yourself looking stupid and telling the universe that you believe in lack because you refuse to let anything else in, this will never manifest into its full potential. It will never manifest. So yeah, in order for you guys to move on, you gotta you gotta stop playing games, yo. Like you gotta stop playing these games. Otherwise you're just gonna have an encore of the bullshit. And obviously that's what you're telling the universe that you want, because you you won't let this go. You look how look at it. Okay, bye. All right. Let's move on because I was about to start preaching and that ain't really what y'all want. Y'all didn't come here for that. All right. Universe. People who chose reading number three. It's the rock. It's the rock. Holla. What happens if they walk away? What happens if they walk away? What happens to the people reading number three who chose reading number three? If they walk away. What happens? What happens when they walk away? You got the three of cups here. I love the three of cups in this deck. What happens if the people in reading number three walk away? What happens, universe? What happens? What happens if they walk away? You got the ace of wands here. One more card, universe. What happens? Whoa. Too many cards. One more card, universe. Not six more. Ooh. <laughs> it fell out like this before. Flipped around real quick. So I got to take it the way it fell out. All right. And at the bottom of the deck. That's the Ten of Cups. Bottom of the deck. You have the Tower. So what I'm seeing here is that in this relationship, if you decide to walk away in this situation ship, in this twin flame ship in this soulmate ship whatever kind of ship you coasting on i've been working the grave ship and i ain't made shit i wish i could find me a spaceship and fly past the sky okay um i've been working this grave ship okay <laughs> so in this ship that y'all are selling in, sell on down the line. I feel like there's a lot of, if you decide to walk away, if you decide to just choose yourself, I feel like there's, there, it will immediately thrust this into, oh my God, underneath the tower card, you have the sun card and underneath the sun card, you have the queen of cups with her big ass cup at face ass. Okay, but it will immediately thrust this into a tower moment. And I feel like it will shake both your worlds up because there are two people here falling down in flames. And it'll cause both of you guys to remove your mask. Mask off. I ain't never heard that song, so I don't know how to sing it. But it'll cause both of you guys to remove the mask. And it will bring forth a time where you start um, reflecting upon everything that this relationship meant to you and everything that that person meant to you, to each other. And it will bring forth a very, very um, inspired um, healing moment. This is this side of the Ten of Cups is a very healing side of this Ten of Cups. Um, and it will initiate a brand new beginning. I see makeup sex in your future. Um, it'll initiate a, um, a brand new beginning. Because you move from this side of the tower to this side where the masks come off. And then underneath that, you have the sun card and the queen of cups card. So that's telling me that there's happiness here in this love. And then you have the fool card that popped out. So if you decide to walk away and choose yourself, I feel like absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, you guys will reunite. And I can say that with confidence. Somebody's going to be sitting there about and thinking about how they took this relationship for granted, how they um, didn't respond, how they didn't reciprocate, how, look, how they failed to give any return back. 
that their stance is um, a stance where they are withholding. They're refusing to accept this gift, which was the the a gift from the universe. This relationship was this cup here being offered by the hand of God. And this is the only card outside of the aces that that has a gift being given by the hand of God. So, yeah, I feel like. You guys will communicate. I feel like there will be apologies. I feel like you guys will get to the truth of the matter. Apologies. Didn't I just say that? You guys will get to the root of the matter, the truth of the matter. And bam, look, you got the sun card twice. Y'all will be like, the sun will come out tomorrow. Because you got to hang on till tomorrow. And you move from being guarded from this happiness, being afraid of this happiness into just like getting a tan like come on son i need i need some kisses i need two shades look i need to be two shades darker what you got you see the sun back here yeah without a shadow of a doubt this will initiate some healing without a shadow of a doubt i've never been so sure about a reading before in my life i have but i know that makes y'all feel better and then y'all get together and everybody's happy and you just be like it's the rock Look at how happy they are with their hands up. Hands up just saying yes to the universe. Hands up just saying I accept. Hands up saying I no longer will reject this. I no longer will take this for granted. I now see clearly what I had. I now see clearly who this person is to me. I now love openly. I now, I mean, you got two aces here. But it, it, look at this. All this love. All this love is waiting for you my baby uh, uh, my darling yeah you no longer you no longer hide your emotions you no longer hide your feelings you no longer play joe cool right you ain't snoopy sitting on his house with his shades you balance this you balance this and you both accept the happiness that this relationship offers you this relationship extends to you you come out you you go into a, a healing phase but i feel like you guys I don't see any cards right now that suggest swiftness besides this ace of wands, but that's enough. That's enough to burn down the past. Like we don't need no fire or no, we don't need no water. Let the mother burn, burn, mother mm, burn. So this can happen. You just let go of the past. It's like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it to stay like this. You both agree on that. So this is awesome. Yeah. So, hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a likes, a share, a subscribe, a thumbs up, a thumbs up, a thumbs up, comment. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, um, I do have my first availability is next Thursday. Um, unless you do an emergency reading. So hit me up. It's the rock.